a track. We are not in Stefan's garage or Rick's dyno doing build stuff. We are out here driving our cars. We've been invited out by Pineview Run Racetrack to come out and do a track day. So we couldn't be more excited about that. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! Stefan, a little bit about the facility. So it's a mostly members only uh, private facility. I don't want to just say racetrack, but they are open for the public on special events for track passes uh, and you know things like BMW, GVCCA rents it out. Um, but it's more than just a track. Uh, there's this beautiful clubhouse behind me. Uh, they do things like skeet shooting, hunting, snowmobiling, uh, ATVs. You can rent go-karts, you can uh, rent cars. It's a dude's paradise. So definitely check out the website down below. Uh, again, they were the ones that invited us out here, so we couldn't be more thankful for them having us out here. And now we get to see what our cars are like on track. You've got a brand new engine. I've got a totally rehauled car. So we're gonna find out what they're like on a track we've never been to. It's happening. Hi. So stoked. All right, looks like I'm the first one. Let's do it. that 
Whew, man. Like this right here. Like you just got one turn after another after another. Um, so it's 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 a lot. It's a lot trying to go quick. Bit, little bit. Alright, first set out. Dylan's gonna go first. Um, gonna get him about halfway around the track and then he'll send me up. Before we get into the summary of the episode, we just want to give another huge shout out to Pineview. Uh, absolutely awesome of you guys to invite us out on a day you guys are closed. I mean, you gave us full track access. We got tons of, not even just great footage, but great instruction from Mario. Uh, and it was an awesome experience. And I know both of us are looking forward to going back, uh, especially with a bunch of our Miata friends. And to really just, you know, have a day of driving, maybe just no filming or, you know, get out there, do some laps and have some fun. For sure. It's not a matter of if we're going back, it's just a matter of when. And we couldn't recommend the track enough. So if you're in the upstate New York area and you're looking for a track to go out, have fun, experience the limits of your car, check out their website, see when those events are. Or if you're local, consider joining the club. Yeah, as part of the club, you can do track time. Uh, it's pretty much open to members quite often. So just see that link down below. I can't express that enough. And uh, yeah, we'll be going back soon. Yeah, for sure. Well, that was something. It's uh, definitely a shakedown day for both of us uh, in more ways than one. Uh, my car seemed to go off without a hitch. We'll see how the drive home is. <laughs> Um, but no major oil leaks, no major issues uh, at the moment. I'm having like a little bit of an idle surge. Uh, that's just because we need to do some wiring and get into a fully sequential uh, firing order for my 
fuel injection, but I mean, if that's the main issue, I'm ahead of the game. And other than that, I mean, this track is a workout. It is, uh, there's always something to do and there's never a dull moment. It is a tight, fast, tra like ripper of a track. And uh, I don't know, I was, I was a little overwhelmed at times, not gonna lie, um, but overall, I'd say success on, on my end. The car definitely moves around quite a bit. I definitely don't have a lot of grip, uh, but it makes it a lot of fun. So not fast, but fun. <laughs> How was your experience? Uh, so mine wouldn't, was not as good. Uh, first session out, I came back in, coolant was like 235, 240. So noticed that a little too late, but pulled over, let it cool down. Uh, and then took it out after it cooled down, did three more laps and it, everything seemed to be going well. And on the third lap, it got really, really loud. Uh, so oh, louder, louder. Yes, it got louder, <laughs> louder. very loud. <laughs> uh, but the, the downpipe to crossover tube connection came totally undone. Both bolts are probably somewhere out there. Uh, and the flange got like sucked in, it's sitting over there. Put a picture of it later. Uh, got sucked into the crossover pipe, and luckily I brought a spare flange. And uh, our buddy Cletus over here put it all back together for us Legend. in a pinch while it was hot. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this is not supposed to look like this. It's supposed to be one piece. Um, <laughs> so dumb luck, I had a spare in my glove box. But it's all back together now. We just took it out for a run, and it seems to be doing well. He made sure it's tight, which I apparently didn't last time. So we should be better off for the rest of the day. Yeah. So. That's a wrap on our general track day first impressions. We're going to try to squeeze in a couple other things. So stay tuned. Hopefully we got a couple more episodes coming out on this track shooting now. Before we get oh, here's the, here's the stuff on I'm the one that had the Red Bull. Yeah, I know. I'm still jittery from all that juice. Before we get into our summary, we just want to give a huge thank you to Red Red Bull. Jesus Christ. I mean, Red Bull is yeah, it's worth Bull's thanking. keeping me alive right now. Okay. Good, that would have ruined our show anyway. Yeah. I did it on purpose. Yeah. <laughs>